We think that some of the last people to cast their ballot in the state of Michigan were in Paw Paw tonight. Right here in West Michigan, a handful of issues led to wait times of more than two hours, and our Ken Kolker spent the night waiting with them. Ken, when did the last person get inside to vote? Yep, Brian and Sue, the last voter to cast her ballot, cast it at about 10 minutes to 11. Uh, we talked to the township clerk who basically said the long lines here and the more than two hour waits were caused by the fact that this is the biggest turnout she's seen since she started working here in 2006. And the COVID restrictions, which caused things to slow down here. Now, the lines went all day. They actually started at 4.30 this morning and continued all day long, wrapping around the building and through the parking lot. Now, we did speak to this last voter just after she cast that ballot. So I just got home from work. So, yeah. you know, and so I went home, changed clothes, saw the line, went home, changed clothes, and brought a candy bar and said, I'll go back in line and still hold am I the last one. So there we are. Is this worth it? I certainly hope so. That's all I can do is pray that this world is going to, this country is going to come to some sort of a change. Now, the work, while well, the, the last voter actually left a little while ago, the work continues here. The um, workers, the election workers, are going to be here at least till early this morning tabulating votes and before they then have to bring it to the county building. Live in Pawpaw Township, Ken Colker, News 8. Okay, working into the wee hours of the morning for sure. Right. Thank you, Ken. Well, we have been monitoring polling locations and clerk's offices all across West Michigan tonight. News 8's Joe Lafergie has been staked out inside of the Kent County Clerk's Office. And Joe, what's the scene down there? Well, it's quiet tonight, uh, Brian, Sue, as you can see, uh, not many people uh, showing up. Now, obviously, a lot of times what, what will happen in these cases is the local clerks will bring their ballots after they've counted here. And the person standing here, Lisa Postumus Lyon, the county clerk, is the one, her her staff has to process all those ballots. And Lisa, where are you at right now as far as the count? Well, it's, it, the, the night is going very well. Uh, the counting is going smoothly. Our absentee counting boards throughout the county have done a really good job. It just takes a lot of time to count people's votes. Um, we do have 13 jurisdictions throughout the county that are fully reported with their results. And that means all the absentee ballots, all of the precinct results, they're all, um, they're all counted, they're all reported, and they're all up on our website as well. So 13 out of, out of all the rest of our jurisdictions, we continue to wait and um, as the night goes on they will slowly trickle in and we'll see where we go from here. And that's 13 out of how many total? We've got 30. 30. There's some confusion uh, depending on the county, depending on who's doing the count as to when you see a count does that include AV ballots? On our, on our website, when you see a count, it will, and it says 100% reporting, that means that it's the precincts and the absentee counting boards together. Um, we do not, you'll see, you'll notice that um, on some of the jurisdictions where there'll be, you know, 62% uh, uh, reporting or what have you, um, or stuck at 50%, that means we have the precinct results, but we don't have the absentee uh, ballots counted yet. So it won't hit 100 until the ballots are counted, uh, uh, the absentee ballots are counted. Good information. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I know you got a long night ahead of you, possibly through tomorrow. Absolutely. But, uh, we'll be hanging out, too, and, and let you know how things go. Back to you. Okay. Very organized yeah. and prepared. Okay, Joe, thank you.